Hi, this is V. Shurtok, and I'm so excited to be here. I'm with C News. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to one of the most amazing folk legends in our country, Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan, thank you so much for agreeing to talk to us today. Well, thanks for the compliment. We are here at the Latches Theater, this beautiful historic theater in downtown Brattleboro, Vermont. Jonathan's came come in to play this amazing show tonight. And he's got a great band, and he's going to play us some music right now. And what do you feel like playing, Jonathan? Gee, I don't know. What do you want to hear? I mean, I don't, I don't want to do the, all the major hits. I'm gonna yeah, do tonight, there you go. So whatever inspires you, you can play anything that you feel like. How's right. that? All right. Your choice. All right. This is a tune that was written by a friend of mine named Eric Lillipist. These songs I've recorded over the years. And uh, he wrote this one, and I recorded it uh, many, many years ago. And just recently, my daughter's wedding in Paris, and she and her husband did a version of this that just nailed the room. So I've been trying to sort of think about doing it, doing it that way, the way they did it. And it goes like this. Listen to the man, he's got a song And he wants you all to say no more But he never gets back the soul Then he gives that old rock and roll Now the night's dimming down the crowd Makes him shed a tear But he's just sitting there thinking No one else will ever hear it Singing words to her, you couldn't say. Make him what you will.
popular music of the time, but I got totally into R&B and totally okay. into, you know, Ray Charles and, and Otis Redding mm -hmm. and Gladys Knight and Great. Aretha, you yeah. know, just, just for Stevie starters. Wonder. Oh, Stevie was yeah. some time later, but yeah. yeah. And, uh, well, actually, Fingertips was, was back in the, in the mm -hmm. I believe, the early 60s. Mm -hmm. I compare your songwriting to his. I mean, you have such a wow. powerful way of expressing yourself through music and through song. And I feel like Stevie Wonder does that beautifully as well. And I put you in the same wow. league as Stevie. We're in good company. So you That's are. Sure. Yes, you are. Um, so anyway, I really, I'm just so excited to talk to you. And I, your fans, I've talked to a few of your fans today, and they all want to know sort of, you know, where you're living, what you're uh, doing, where, you been where are years? you? They're sort of like, is he still in St. Croix? I said, I don't think so, but I'll find out. I'll tell you. Well, I was in St. Croix for 10 years okay. and uh, just kind of following my heart and following my dreams like I've always done and right. uh, found myself there and, and loving life, loving the, the rhythm and pace of mm -hmm. Caribbean life and music and culture. Yes. And there's some really good gardeners down there. Too, really? So, yeah. All yeah, right. Really and good I bet gardeners. you're a good gardener too. I'm pretty good. Yeah. But uh, that's great. Yeah, and and I've been a New England guy, you know. I knew that. All my life. Didn't you have a farm in Western Mass I, at one I, point? I had a farm in Harvard, Mass. Okay, Harvard. Places. Yeah. Okay, all right. And in the early 70s, I, I went to New England on steroids, which is called Nova Scotia. <laughs> okay, and, all right. And bought 100 acres in a, in a barn up there. And, wow. And, you know, embarked upon a, a um, life of uh, agriculture and yeah. family. And, wow, that sounds amazing. And music as well, always always major part of so you're Portland. back in New England, is that what Yeah, you're back in Portland, Maine. Wow. And I have a lot of friends and family up there cool. and, and loving life. And I love the scene, the music scene yeah. up there is great. And it the is. art scene is yeah. really uh, vibrant and alive. A lot more than a lot of other towns, uh, 10 times its size. So okay. I'm, I'm loving it. I also heard recently that the Netherlands is, mm -hmm. a, the country of the Netherlands is a huge Jonathan Edwards fan, the whole country. Do you get there right. often to perform? You know, I only get there a couple every couple of years okay. or so, but but I do. Have, how did I mean? How did they find you? I well, love it. I mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> but how did that connection you happen? Know, it has absolutely nothing to do with Shanty, the song I wrote about about yeah. you know sitting around the kitchen table. It right. has nothing to do with that. Okay. Um, somebody happened to hear uh, the albums I did with Emmy Lou, yeah. Rock and Chair and Sailboat, oh, and yeah. put them together on a CD, mm -hmm. bootlegged it, and it became a. a Hit of some proportion. A cult classic in the Netherlands, that's what I've heard. In, yeah, so, in Amsterdam. Uh, and, that's and, wonderful. Uh, yeah, and so I figured, well, dang, I better go over there and play. So exactly. they had me come over and they, they hired and rehearsed a band. Yeah. And I walked in out of the airport and went, you know. <laughs> and I dream in the morning. That's where the band comes in. And she drank the water. And, and, and it just, they were right there for that's the entire nice. set. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. They, they didn't know what they were singing about. Had no <laughs> idea. There was a language gap. But you had a cross-cultural experience and it was very positive. Yeah, and they loved those two records. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So Rocking Chair and Sailboat. And Sailboat. Yeah. Isn't that terrific? So if you want to go to the Netherlands and uh, you know hang out with some fellow Jonathan Edwards fans, I think that, that will happen. I think you can do that. So is there anything else you want to tell your fans about your latest DVD, you have a movie out, you have a, uh, you were actually in a film, I thought this was so cool with like Bruce Dern and, oh, yeah. oh my god, 2009 yeah. you wrote the score, tell me a little yeah. bit about I that. I like David Carradine. And, I uh, just love it. Mariel Hemingway. You have so much energy, Jonathan. Charles Durning. Oh. Uh, it was an amazing cast and there I was, you know, I had to, whoa, here I am standing yeah. with these major Shakespearean schooled yeah. actors and yeah. I've never done it before. Well, but I held my own. You know, I, I learned. I know how to memorize a script, and uh, I was in it for a minute, as okay. they say. All right. Were you a preacher? I was. That's what I heard. It was yeah. miscast. Totally oh, miscast. Oh, I don't think so. I was a preacher preaching a against. <laughs> a I was preacher. preaching against the uh, the concept of bringing rum into our Puritan 1905 <laughs> New England town. Isn't that funny? Yeah. It's oh just my wrong. gosh, but you wrote the score for the yeah, movie. Yeah, did the music. It's wonderful. And I, 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 the guy, a friend of mine did the movie. Can fans rent it or see yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's called The Golden Boys. Okay, The Golden Boys. Yeah. All right, great. Well, yeah. that's exciting. And what about your discography? I know you have, you know, 
20 or so released yeah. albums mm -hmm. or CDs. How can fans and people get a hold of your music? Um, my website is really good. It's, okay. it's really, um, really energetic That's and vibrant. And I, I'm loving what they're doing with it. It's um, JonathanEdwards.net. Terrific. Okay, so yeah. that's easy. Yeah. And um, is there anything else? I mean, you have this big tour now in New England. You're going to be in Connecticut. You're going to Maine. You're playing all over. Yeah. Any other kind of international shows coming up or? Um, no, I've got a... anything? Well, I uh, th there's talk. Okay. There's talk of right. such things. Yeah. Um, I've got I'm oh, all okay. winter. All right. Um, you know where they try to help people, uh, encourage people to. Donate to yes. PBS. Yes, so you'll be there. Okay, yeah. good. good. Uh, kind of, you know, retrospective of music of the 70s and such mm -hmm. like that. And I get to sing with all these great people on the same stage. And, you know, Marvin Hamish. It's really cool. That's wonderful. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Again, this is V with C News. I'm sitting here with Jonathan Edwards, an amazing musician. If you have a chance to see him, please go and you will. Definitely enjoy it. This is V with C News, and I'll see you soon. Hello, everybody. This is Jonathan Edwards and Victoria Shirtalk and C News. <laughs>